Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today for Ask Ali and I've got lots of questions today so thank you all for your questions. Now I did this, this look earlier on and I did a perfect wing but I've been out in the garden to meet my family for a government approved socially distant meet up with my family because we play by the rules here. Okay so yeah my step grandson and stepson and his partner were in the garden two meters apart we're all very well behaved but because of that um the reason i'm explaining that is because of course my eyes started streaming so i did a perfect wing and now it has come off but look at the eyeshadow it's as good as new and it's huda with some pat mcgrath over the top so i'm really loving these eyeshadows and i'm definitely now going to be ordering some more if you have hooded lids and your eyeshadow comes off throughout the day where your hood is or your eyes water you need these in your life okay brilliant base brilliant on their own so handy so easy definitely a must buy okay now if you want to see how i did this look i'm doing a step by step including my foundation with some application techniques and that's coming up next in the video but let's get to these questions shall we okay so the first question is from selena j and selena asks could you swatch love glow and ecstasy next to each other i really want to get ecstasy but i'm afraid it might be orange on me i'm a light wonder shade two to three is it only coral or does it have a noticeable pink to it love glow is definitely only um pink but i think it is way more shimmer than ecstasy so of course i can do that Celine. i'm hoping it's oh selena sorry right so we have let's have a look at these so this one is love glow and as you correctly say it is just pink and then we have ecstasy now i am repeating myself but i would say that ecstasy is the a brilliant all-rounder blush for virtually everyone and when i say virtually everyone the only people i am not so sure would be somebody who's very very dark in that the outer color may wash you out a little bit if you are very dark you know really deep complexion um shade 13 or something you know but i i think ecstasy is so safe for every single skin tone up to a very very deep shade um and the reason is and the reason i love it it's a brilliant all round and i'm always recommending ecstasy blush is because it has this outer rim and it has this inner rim and there's a bit of pink and there's a bit of peach so it, it sort of looks corally and it works whether or not you're going for a kind of purpley look that's a bit cooler toned or a warmer kind of brown look if if it's browner toned makeup so it just works for every skin tone or most skin tones i should say and it works with any makeup it's just if you're not sure about which one to get get ecstasy now you did say you wanted to know about it um does it come up too pink so let me just swatch you i'm going to swatch both of these shades individually and then i'll mix them together so that you can see them and then i'll put a photo in between so we have the swish around the side which is a lovely peachy color um and let me put it on the palest part of my arm Okay, I'm going to just put that here on the playlist. Now, they never swatch brilliantly. So, I'm going to also show you. There we are. I will also show you on my finger. Whenever something doesn't swatch brilliantly, I show it on my finger. Okay, so it's kind of a peachy pink. And then the middle one, which is the pop shade does come up quite pink but there is some peach in it as well now obviously that's not a brilliant light but you're gonna see it in a second something itching me probably from the garden right there we go and there it is on my finger and i'm just going to put the picture in between and then we shall look at it compared to love glow I meant to swatch them both together first, didn't I? 
So let me just swatch them both together before I then show you the picture. So let's do, I'll take a bit of that and a bit of the middle so that they're mixed together. And then I will swatch that underneath here so that you can see what that looks like when they're both together. Okay, so now the photo is definitely coming up. Okay, silly me, I had to re-swatch them because I didn't leave enough room on my arm to compare it with Love Glow. Anyway, so now let's have a look at Love Glow and let's hold it up against Ecstasy. So you're quite right, it's very pink and these shades are quite similar actually. So let's just swatch these next to Ecstasy. So let's do the Swish first. So the Swish is pink, but it's a little bit of peach in there. There's a little bit of peach. Let's put that under there. Tiny bit. Okay, and then the pink in the middle, which is a sort of bit more baby pink, but they're very similar, just a bit lighter. Okay, so I'm gonna leave a picture here. Oh no, I nearly did it again. I need to mix the two together. So then mix the two together for the last swatch. Okay, picture now coming up. Okay, I hope that's helped. I think on the whole, Ecstasy is warmer. So even though there's a bit of pink there, um, it comes across as a lot warmer than Love Glow. But I like to be really helpful. And I think sometimes with blushes, swatches are not that helpful all, all the time. So I know I'm darker than you and it's probably not as good as a, a back of the arm swatch, but just so that you can see what these look like all in the name of science because I'll be taking this off very soon. I'm gonna put Love Glow on this cheek. I've just mixed both of them together, okay? So that's Love Glow. Now, Love Glow is probably not gonna show up. I, I It does show up more on me in the winter. I tend to use Love Glow a bit more in the winter. So that's Love Glow, it's quite pale. And then Ecstasy, let me just knock off that because I'm using the same brush. Ecstasy, I'm gonna, again, mix the two together. Ecstasy does show up on me. But you can see it kind of looks peachy pinky, but it doesn't go too much pink, doesn't go too much peach. I think it's a great one and I think you'll like it it won't look too pink on you and it won't look too peach on you. It will, as I say, look, I've got purple eye makeup on, but it goes. Even though there's peach in there and there's pink in there, it just goes with everything. So I think you're gonna love it. Hope that helps. Love Glow, which you can't see very well on me right now, and Ecstasy. Right, moving on to the next question. Okay, the next question is from Julie H. Hello, Julie H. And Julie H said, could I please watch the Medium Pillow Talk and Medium Pillow Talk liner next to Supermodel and Super Size Me combo? And am I buying the new lipsticks? Well, I've already answered that, as you know. I'm not buying the new lipsticks because I did a video on it um, earlier. And... But thank you everyone for being so supportive about that video because I thought some of you might be annoyed with me. But you're all very supportive about my decision. So thank you very much. And well done to Rebecca because I, I loved her video. But let's get on to this. Now, the, this is actually, it's strange that you asked in the same question, am I buying the new lipsticks? Because this is one of the reasons why I didn't. Now, Supermodel is... I know I keep saying my favourites, 
there are a few favorites but i did this supermodel is definitely one of them supermodel is one of my favorites because it is the perfect kind of nude shade for me it's how my lips would look if they were uniform all over um and for a long time it's paired up with Super Size Me, and for a long time, um, this was nicknamed by me as Pillow Talk Medium before Pillow Talk Medium came out. But it wasn't just me. I remember, I'm sure I heard Sophia Tilbury once nicknaming it a medium pillow talk for people that needed darker lipstick and other makeup artists in Charlotte Tilbury calling supermodel the kind of medium pillow talk so when i got medium pillow talk i was very keen to swatch them together and to be honest they're perfect they're, to me they're almost identical now that is one of the reasons that i didn't get the new lipsticks because one of them i loved the look of it but it looked identical again and i thought i can't get three lipsticks that look virtually identical so let me just swatch these first. So we will do, first of all, in the order of when they came out. So we have Super Size Me Lip Liner. And then Supermodel Lipstick. I will actually put these, these on as well for you in a minute. Okay. And then... I will just get the Pillow Talk um, combo out. We have Pillow Talk Medium. And Pillow Talk Medium. Now I just double swipe that so that's what makes it look slightly darker. But can you see how similar they are? If anything, Supermodel's got slightly more brown in it. Pillow Talk Medium's got a little bit more pink in it. But they are very, very similar. Let me show you them on photograph. And I'm going to take that off and I'm going to single swipe it like I did with that. So you can see them like for like. So I've just taken off my lipstick so we can try these on. Now, Wedding Bells, I think it's Wedding Bells, is the one that looks very like Super Size Me from um, what I can tell. But I think, again, I'm go just going to plug my friend's channel, Not Fit For Print, but I believe, because I've requested it, she's going to do a swatch comparison with um, Supermodel. So we will see. But that's why I thought I don't need three lipsticks that all look the same, even though they do suit me. So let me just show you. As you can see, those swatches look virtually identical. But let's see if they look different on the lips, shall we? I'm going to do half and half again. So I'll do half this side, Supermodel, and I'll do Pillow Talk Medium that side so that you can see, do they actually look different on the lips? So that is Supermodel. And as you can see, look at my natural lip colour and look at that. It's just made it uniform, which is why I love this lipstick. It is the perfect nude shade for me. And now we'll go for Pillow Talk Medium. Can you see the slightly more pink in it? I'm not sure that you can once it's on the lips. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photograph of myself now. So that's Pillow Talk Medium and Supermodel. I'm going to take it under my ring light just to really intensify the light um, and make sure so that we can really examine do these look any different on the lips?
Okay, I turned up the um, the the light and I turned my camera around so that you got the high definition. You could see all my facial hair on my top lip and it wasn't very flattering, but just so that you could see the slight difference in the shades. Um, but really, once I'm wearing it now, can you tell? Um, I doubt if I went out like that, anyone would stop me and say I was wearing a different lipstick each side. It's very, very difficult to tell. Um, but if you really are interested in the nuances, then you can see now, obviously it was in reverse the picture, but I knew that the pillow talk side was the bit where I've got my little, as I like to call it, beauty spot. Um, so that's the pillow talk side. That's the supermodel side. And obviously I didn't use a lip liner, but you get the idea. They both match really well. So I hope that answers your question. Pillow Talk Medium's a bit pinker and Supermodel is a little bit browner, but actually there's very little in it. So whichever you think you prefer, but it's not gonna show up too much. Um, but there, I hope that helps. There's very little difference, basically. Okay, I need to take this off now because I have another lipstick question. Now, this lipstick, well, is a lipstick. There's two questions coming up from Tria Chatterjee. Hello, Tria. Now, Tria said, would Angel Alessandra show up on darker skin, please, Ali? I love doing a smoky eye and I'm looking for a nice peachy nude, but I'm not sure if it will show up on dark skin. Now, Tria is Asian um, like myself, but she's slightly darker olive skin tone than me. But I have Angel Alessandra here and I'm going to put that on so that you can see. But it's definitely a peachy, a peachy nude. And that's what it looks like on me. So yes, it will show up on you. And it is a peachy nude. It's quite, it's quite fair, but it's not, it's not because there's enough warmth in it. I don't think it's not like wearing, because if I put nude Kate on, I look like a corpse. I don't think that's going to look like, make you look like a corpse or anything because it's got enough peach in it to kind of warm up the lips. So, there is Angel Alessandra. But yes, my answer is yes, I think it will look okay on you. Obviously, um, you're a bit darker, but having a look at me, I'm sure that you can kind of get an idea of how much fairer it's going to look on you. So it's going to look a little bit fairer on you than it does on me. Um, let me just do the back of my hands. So you can see there's the back of my hand, which is kind of generally what it looks like on my face. But you can see if I'm fairer, then it's going to look a lot darker. Like that. And it's just going to look a bit fairer than that on you. But I think the peachiness will, will stop it washing out your lips, you know, and looking like concealer lips. Okay, hope that helps. Now, Tria has got a second question for me. And the second question was, um, let me just check the question because I want to make double sure that I've got the question correct. This is a brilliant question. How do you reapply sunscreen when you have a full face of makeup? This is such a good question. They're all great questions, by the way, today. I love them. Um, it's such a great question and I have to make a confession. I'm really bad at reapplying sunscreen throughout the day. But when it is very hot, because the thing is, I tend to slather lots of sunscreen on before my makeup anyway, and I let it sink in. 
and I'm, but I'm really bad at going back and touching it up throughout the day and I probably should be better at it. But if I am out and about and the weather is very hot and I'm reapplying, what I would tend to do is get a spray. So a spray that's like a setting spray, but it's an SPF. Now, I don't know if you're in the UK or not, Tria, but Look Fantastic, who are very good at delivering, as I've said, um, I've ordered a couple of things. They're really, really good at delivering and getting your products out quickly. They, I looked up for you and La Roche-Posay have got a sunscreen um, spray for the face. I'll put the details below under your questions. I'm going to put all the questions in the description bar. So I'll put a link to the product. They have got 25% off La Roche-Posay sunscreen at the moment and they have a face spray factor 50 and it's a spray so what you can do is just spray that over the top of your makeup it says it also has a kind of mattifying um it'll take the shine off your face so it's it'll it's double thing it will set your your foundation again and take any shine away and give you a touch up of factor 50 sunscreen so what's there not to love and in fact you've tempted me to actually get some myself so i better get some before i put this video out or all my alley pallies will go and buy it and it'll be sold out but do have a look at that because they've got 25 percent off all their sunscreens on look fantastic the la roche posay sunscreens but that's what I would suggest you do because anything else is going to be very difficult. If you do that, you're going to start bringing off makeup. And you could, in theory, put a sun cream into your hands and then press it into the skin. But then you're not actually going to be applying enough um, for it to be effective. So I think the best thing is to use a spray. So I hope that helps. And it's a great question. And thank you for reminding me to reapply my sunscreen. Very important. The sun is coming in and my face is getting glowier and glowier. Okay, the next question is from Stacy Frost. Hello, Stacy. And Stacy said, I can't get the super blue eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury at the moment. Sold out everywhere. And yes, it is. And I'm keeping an eye out for you, all of you, actually, Stacy. But also, I thought if I see it, I'm going to put it up in the community. So she said, Could I swatch? The other one that I've been using and I'm wearing today, actually, which is the L'Oreal Infallible, I've got the blue, um, because she can get that on Amazon. And yes, you can. It's very easy to get. Now, this is more of a cobalt blue, but I, she said, could I swatch them together? Now, of course, you're getting two eyeliners in Charlotte. So I've got a couple more to throw in for you to have a look at. Um, so let's just swatch you. Um, Shall I do palest part of my arm again? I'll do palest part of my arm. So we've got um, Charlotte's matte side. And then we have, don't worry, photos coming up. And then you've got the metallic side. Now I'm assuming it's the metallic side that you really want to kind of recreate. So I'm gonna put the l'oreal one right next to the metallic side now this isn't metallic but it is a very striking cobalt blue but it is a kind of it's not metallic it's got no shimmer in it but it's very good and i actually think these are really good these gel liners um this one is very long lasting and it looks beautiful on and it's just as good as any of the higher end brand ones so that's that. So I'll just do a photograph there so you can see those. And then I'm going to just mention a couple more. Okay, now if it is the metallic side that you're more interested in than the matte side, I'm going to give you a very naughty suggestion because it's Pat McGrath. Okay, so not cheap, but you do get a pencil sharpener in, in with it. With every one of our eyeliners, you get a pencil sharpener in with it. I should think so too for that price. Okay, now this one is called Ast Blitz Blue. I keep wanting to call it Astral Blue. 
but it's because of Blitz Astral Quad. That's right. So this is called Blitz Blue. And I'm going to put that underneath here. But I think it's quite similar. Maybe not. It's darker. I was thinking to this one. But it's somewhere in between these two. So I'm going to put that in between. It's kind of... It's actually like a metallic version of that. Of the mat, of Charlotte's matte one. Okay, but it and it's got some shimmering, but it's not too shimmery. But anyway, that was one suggestion, but I have another one coming up. Okay, if it's not the metallic side and you just want a really nice blue eyeliner that's good quality and is going to last and it's really excellent quality and doesn't budge, but it's not metallic, I'm afraid. But I have to recommend this Estee Lauder. I got this by mistake because I'd actually gone in and they asked asking for the cobalt one and she put this in the box. Didn't realise until I got home and couldn't be bothered to go back. But this is really good and long lasting. It's their double wear and it's sapphire, but they do do a cobalt as well, which someday I'm going to get. But I'm just going to put that down here because this is a really, really lovely. And actually, do you know what? It is virtually identical to the Charlotte Matte one. Very similar shades together. So if you look at the top and the bottom one, you'll see. But I'll put the uh, photograph of these. Um, I will keep a lookout for the metallic Charlotte one because that's a bit lighter. I have a feeling if you're after that shade, have a look at Fenty Beauty because I they have one called See About It. And I think that might be quite similar. And I'm going to ask Rebecca to kind of join in here because I think Rebecca may have See About It by Fenty. I think I remember Rebecca wearing it. So Rebecca, if you have it, can you um, let me know and send me a swatch and I'll send it through to um, Stacey. Okay, but I'll just put the photo coming up next. This video, this question could go on forever because I keep finding other blue eyeliners. I've just added Charlotte Tilbury's Marley Midnight to the bottom there. But also I suddenly thought about Daniel Sandler's for this colour. Now it's not metallic, but it is a lighter kind of sea blue. Now Daniel's are incredibly long lasting. They never do that thing of smudging here in the corner when I put them on. And they're really reasonably priced. Now this one is called Aqua Velvet. So I will take another photograph of all of those so that you can see them. So it's Aqua Velvet there. Then you've got Charlotte's um, Super Blue Duo. Then you've got L'Oreal, I've got the blue. Then you've got Pat McGrath's Blitz Blue. You've got Estee Lauder. I've forgotten what the name of that one is, but it's 06. Um, and then you have got Marlene Midnight by Charlotte Tilbury. So I'll put all those names again and we'll move on to the next question. I hope that helps. Okay, so coming up last, but certainly not least, is a question from Gaina Wits. Now, Gaina's been following me for such a long time, and she's such a lovely lady. Always leaves such supportive comments, as do you all. But I think Gaina's been following me, I suppose a lot of you have, but I just seem to remember Gaina's been with me forever. So, hello, Gaina. Um, and now, Gaina asked a question. She said, I would love to know your top three recommendations in terms of eye palettes for me. Actually, she said the top three Charlotte Tilbury eye palettes. I am blonde. Um, 
I have got blue eyes and I've got a warm skin tone. That's right. So, Gaynor, I really love doing my research for this, okay? Based on what you've told me. Um, and I've come up with some suggestions for you, so I'm just going to get them. Okay, the first thing that came into my mind when you said blue eyes, warm skin tone, doesn't matter about being fair, it's the fact that you said you've got a warm undertone and blue eyes is Charlotte Darling. Now, this is in Stars in Your Eyes as well, the colours are repeats, but I, I carry this palette with me everywhere. Now, the thing is that you've got some lovely browns in there and the browns will contrast with your blue eyes. So whereas I've got blue under here, I've got the blue this is, and that contrasts with my brown eyes. Um, you will, you're doing the opposite. So you're basically putting brown on to contrast and make your eyes pop. And I just think this is a lovely palette it, and it's so portable. I just carry it around with me everywhere. So the golds and the browns will just really work and really make your blue eyes pop. And because you've got a warm undertone, it's going to look fantastic. I'm just swatching all of these there. So that would be my first choice and I've missed one out. Where can I swatch that? I'll put that on there as well. Okay, <laughs> I'll put that with the, the mat on top, uh, the mat underneath. But th that one actually in particular would look really lovely. Okay, because it's just, it would just really make, let me just get, get that bit on its own. It will just make your blue eyes pop. Shall I swatch it for you? I'll swatch it for you. Now, the other one, of course, that came to mind was Copper Charge because that is actually four blue eyes. But the only thing is that when I swatch them together, they do look quite similar to Charlotte Darling, and you might actually want something different. So, I mean, Copper Charge is what Charlotte actually made for blue eyes in terms, and it would look beautiful on you. So if you don't want to go for a larger palette, but you just want to go for a quad, then I would get Copper Charge. So this is my sneaky way of bringing in four palettes rather than three, but you might not want to go for both. I'm just gonna show you the swatch of them both together. Okay, the next one I'm gonna suggest is a bit of a wild card. Don't worry, it's not too wild, but I'll explain why I'm calling it a wild card. And that is the Rebel, the new reimagined Rebel, or Green Lights. And it doesn't matter which one you get because they're exactly the same, despite the fact that they're still sold as two separate products. They are exactly the same palette. I don't understand why this is the case, but anyway, it's true. They're exactly the same palette, but one comes in a green box, which says green lights on it, and the other one says the Rebel, and she says that, she's confirmed it. So anyway, here is the Rebel reimagined, otherwise known as green lights. Now, you might be thinking, the reason that I called this a wild card is, you're thinking, hang on, green with blue eyes, surely that's not gonna go. But it's not, it, it always, you've got to think about the shade of green. And this is a goldy kind of khaki green. And I think it would go really well. And I thought, am I going mad here? Because I really need to look. So I just, I went on to Charlotte's website and I looked and there staring at me was a model with blue eyes wearing this palette. And I'm going to post that picture here. And I thought, yeah, hey. I was right, my instincts were right. So I'll post that picture here so you can see.
but what is it they say blue and green should never be seen isn't it have i got that right or is it some other color but anyway this is a khaki and gold green and i think it would look beautiful now this is recommended for hazel eyes but as i said it doesn't have to be just hazel eyes this looks lovely with brown eyes and i think it would look lovely with blue eyes and a warm tone but that's my wild card um just in case you want to move away from browns um that's one i could suggest now the blue palette you could wear again because blue and blue goes together you know you've got the blue palette but i've got another one that i want to throw in as my last suggestion okay i think this is probably one of charlotte's all time most popular most loved eyeshadows um and it is what used to be called the dolce vita but is now called the bella sophia i think this would look stunning on you and what i love about this palette as well is it's still got not only has it still got the pop shade in it because she's done away with her pop shades in her newer palettes but this has to be the most beautiful pop shade ever it is just, I'm going to, it won't go with this look, but it just is so emollient and just makes the eyes. I don't care that it doesn't go because I just want to show it to you. And it would even go over purple. It's just beautiful. And it is just so emollient, so beautiful. Let me just, it is gorgeous. I love the Dolce Vita palette. Second palette I ever bought from Charlotte Tilbury and it looks gorgeous and I think you, you see you've got a little bit of a kind of almost it is brown but it could almost pass as being khaki and then you've got your prime shade which incidentally the prime shade of the Dolce Vita or Bella Sophia is also in Charlotte Darling palette so you're going to get one repeat which is the prime shade if you also get charlotte darling palette how well remembered is that ali m okay so this is just stunning and i just think you can't go wrong with that it's a beautiful palette so in summary i would say charlotte darling definitely dolce vita definitely wild card would be the um rebel or green lights because they're both the same palette and possibly the copper lights quad copper charge quad but the copper charge i wouldn't get copper charge if you're getting charlotte darling um if you want another color scheme we can actually talk about if you're interested talking about maybe something like walk of no i was thinking walk of shame but i'm thinking that more for green eyes Yes, no, forget that. If you want something else other than brown, browns and golds and, and greens, let me know and I'll think again with you and we'll come up with another suggestion. Okay, but I would say definitely Charlotte Darling, definitely Dolce Vita and I think the Rebel or Green Knight, both the same palette. All right, hope that helps and thank you so much for ask ali questions this week i've had so much fun answering them and i will leave you with swatches of the dolce vita you've seen charlotte darling you've seen the um copper charge palette and um i'll leave you with swatches of dolce vita and the rebel okay thanks for joining me and i'll see you all very soon bye bye and don't forget, if you have any more questions for Ask Ali, I'm making this a regular weekly slot after my live at one o'clock on Wednesdays. And it depending on how many questions will be when I put it out, but it's normally Friday or Saturday. Okay, take care. Love you all. Bye-bye. Wait. That swatch does not do the pop shade justice. Ah, that's better. That definitely shows what I'm talking about.